So in, in good news, you have one person who creates the game. In this case, um, this is our, our username, so you can see it. Um, our user username, and um, we're playing with the lift class. The lift class is very, very trivial. So, here. Yeah. You have the lift, and uh, it has a top floor, it has a current floor, and it has a capacity and a number of operators. Should it change anything with the map? Um, and um, it has two, two, two constructors, um, which you can provide the highest floor or even the maximum number of riders. Should I put the microphone on? Or? Okay, thank you for that. Um, so what you want to do as, as an attacker, well, you want to take like, you have a lot of numbers, so you want to change these numbers up, and as a defender you want to you want to test those. Um, if, if we can extract I already I already created this game and already um, added two people and for, for clarity, um, we, our, our only attacker right now is, uh, is called attacker and our only defender is called um, defender. So on the other tab, I'm going to go over here. Um, this is the view for, for an attacker. Um, you, can, you, can see it, uh, you can see it's wrong and we don't really have, we don't have mutants yet, but then they will fill up and then we can create a mutant here. Um, I just added editing code. So, um, a very trivial would be to, to for, for our constructor, uh, we, we, we give you uh, we a number as a parameter, and then we can just add one to that and tag our code. So, currently, if there are no tests, so it doesn't um, so, so, uh, survive so far. and in our code, we can see um, the regret there. So, well, the next thing I will go to, to, uh, to our defender view, and we will see. <laughs> and with our defender view, we will put the class and the test on the left, and where we can write a gene and test on the right. And we will see that we have a mutant right here, and so we know which lines we have to cover. So, um, you can um, create a unit test here. Oops, sorry for that. With and um, so, if, if we create a lift with the parameter of 10, our top floor should be 10, and we can um, and we can assert that our top floor is actually 10. And um, with newer versions, we added uh, code completion. So we try to make coding in the browser a little bit, a little bit easier. So wh when we write this test, we will run it against uh, the original uh, code and then against our first mutant. And we will see that um, it compiled and it passed the original, original class. Um, so it yeah, so, so it um, ran through the original class, but failed for the mutant. So we detected the mutant, therefore we killed it. Okay. Um, um, so we, we could write a, a number of things, and, and I think it's the, the scale. So like I said, this is a, a team-based um, game, so we can have a lot of defenders and a lot of uh, a lot of attackers all writing um, uh, mutants and tests at, at the same time. So if we, if we go back to, to our attacker, we, we can see that we now have coverage information on which code is actually covered um, and which isn't. So um, we can see, okay, for example, for, for, for the current floor, we haven't done anything. Um, like th 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 there's, there's no test, so we can add uh, a code here. And I'm gonna be really, really tricky here. Um, I'm gonna add, um, which I previously called an, an equivalent mutant, so I'm just gonna say, okay, I just want to have uh, as a tactical change, and I, d I don't really care about, um, about my defender, which in some, some sense is cheating, and I'm just going to um, create this. So uh, as a defender, I have a really, really hard time detecting Actually, I can't detect it. Um, but we have a mechanism for this um, to um, claim an equivalence dual. And um, for, for claiming an equivalence Uh, 
and the, the default value for the current floor is, is zero. We know, okay, the, the, the default uh, value is zero, so, so this part of the code should kill it. This is actually on my local computer, that's why a little bit slow, um, but it didn't. So our mutant survived a test, um, but if we are really, really, really sure that we've done everything to, to cover a potential flaw in, in, in this, um, uh, in, in, our, in our mutant, we can uh, claim the equivalent dual. So, um, which says that every, every mutant in this line, um, we, we will trigger a dual, um, which, so th this will result out um, if we are an attacker um, and we refresh our page. We, we have a new um, screen which says uh, that, that, you, that the mutant that you created, and in particular this mutant, um, what was, was claimed by, 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 by a defender, and now we, ha we actually have to, to write a test to show that it isn't equivalent. But for, for this part, we can't write a test. We know that it's equivalent. So what we do is we accept. So you, you have either two choices, either write a test or accept it. Um, so we, we can do it. Um, and we accept our equivalence and then actually lose um, the, the, the dual. At, at this point, we really have, have a mutant there. So we, um, I, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to create a, a very, very tricky mutant for this one. Um, so in, in, in Java, if you add uh, two plus operators be behind a number, it will give you the value of, but then it will add one. So if we attack, again, no, um, uh, again, our, our mutant will survive. And for uh, as as a, as a defender, we can if we update our page. That is, there's no real time communication e as of yet. We're working on that. Um, there, there's another mutant, I, uh, and as a defender, I'm pretty sure that our our attacker that didn't um, didn't get <laughs> new new ideas, and we're just going to claim it again. And so. Similar point here. No, no. Note that uh, at this point we know that it's not an equivalent mutant. Um, this is that we actually call our code twice. Um, so to the, the get the get current floor. And zero, and the for for the second, uh, it will be. Uh, with one, so I'm, I'm gonna create two, two variables, um, uh, and the other for get current floor again, and I actually ex should expect them to be equal. Okay. So we're now going to submit this in, in the hopes that we're actually running through on the original code, but fail on our test, uh, fail on our mutant, so we show that our mutant is actually not, not equivalent. Okay, so at, at this point we show that our mutant is not equivalent and we actually won, uh, we won the duel and um, all of this interaction um, will actually give you points. So um, in, in Code Defenders, um, we have, we have uh, points for, for attacking and have points for defending, um, which we all result um, in, a, in, a score, uh, in, in, in the scoreboard. Um, so for each mutant that you, that you provide, you get one point, and for each test it survives, um, you get one point too. And as a defender, you get all the points um, a mutant has once it's okay, so this was uh, just the uh, just the basic. Throughout. Um, okay. 
Okay. So we actually use code defenders quite a bit in, in our course. Um, so we, we have a software testing course, which is two hours of lecture and one hour of, of exercise and two hours of lab sessions every single week. And we played code defenders with around 120 students, around um, three or four sessions. It depends on, on, on the size of our, on our, our computer room. So for the lab sessions, um, for the lab sessions, um, we, have mul we have around uh, two or, or three games uh, per session, one session per week per student, um, and uh, teams of around um, three, uh, three, to, uh, three to five students. And um, in, uh, at, at the f first time we applied this, each student only played one role, but it began to get quite boring quite quickly. But no, not boring, but um, repetitive, let's just do like this. And so right now we, 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 sw we switch it up. And um, an interesting part for us is that, that we try to increase the difficulty of our course, um, or like or, or of, of the classes. So um, at, at the start, uh, we play with the lift class that I just presented to you, but later we have much more complex classes, classes which um, with more complex data types. And playing in playing code defenders actually accounts to your grade, um, uh, which is uh, around uh, like. I think 10% um, of your grade, so we actually want to try hard and actually do s do some useful stuff while playing. And for playing, we have around we have four major challenges. And um, the the first major challenge is just the, the the whole classroom setting itself. You have to create a lot of accounts for a lot of students, and um, s students will come in late or will, will just randomly switch up sessions. So you, you have to react, you, you have to be able to react quite quickly for that. And um, we, we have an admin interface, um, which I will show uh, a little later. Um, so, so, so you can uh, create games and assign latecomers and stuff like this. And another thing is uh, just um, man managing your games. Your games have to be balanced. Otherwise, um, people will get super frustrated or get bored. Um, so, so what, what we do is um, we, we assign people by, by their score as a defender um, and try, try, to, try to make like uh, rank-based uh, matchmaking uh, in this. And another point is that people try to cheat. Like well, what I just did with creating an equivalent, this actually happens uh, quite often. And, but but th 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 this is the only thing that, that really people can cheat. Uh, another way would be um, trying to make like really, really complex mutants with reflection um, and stuff like this. So we um, try to restrict it um, to the point where um, it's not easy to, to write super complex mutants. So very good students still, still can do it. Um, and for, for, our other, uh, for our third challenge, um, for every single class, like I said before, we need to have uh, a new class um, under test which increasingly gets, um, gets more, more difficult and at the same time doesn't have a lot of dependencies. So by now, uh, but by now we, we have the possibility to create, um, like for example, um, like to, to, to upload a class and then add super classes to that or subclass stuff like this. But um, currently you, you can't include your own libraries. So what we primarily do is um, use open source library, uh, open source classes, um, which usually are uh, data, data structures. And for, for, for the last step for, for students, the, the most important thing, um, we actually have to grade them. And gra gra grading uh, itself, um, you, you can't rely on, on the scoring system because of the, the, your score is heavily influenced by how good or bad your teammates are. If none of the, the opponents ever write a mutant and you write perfect tests, then you get, you get zero points for that. Or if you, if you have really, really talented um, teammates, th they will get all, all, the, all the points if they write excellent tests. So what we do is we execute, um, like well, well after the games, we execute every test against every mutant um, and then count on how many mutants you created which are most likely not equivalent and at least survive one test. So, um, and for, for uh, like we call them useful mutants and then we also count useful tests which are just mutants, uh, which are just tests which cover at least a single mutant. And um, what, what you can actually see is, uh, is, is the leaderboard of uh, games I actually used uh, to play in. And um, I've been in, in, in the game with, with the rank one guy, and he, he has a lot of defender score, like almost twice as much as, as the second person. And that's actually because he created a lot of equivalences, and at that point, 
um, I didn't re didn't realize how how, um, how equivalence is um, like I, I didn't want to didn't want to mark every single mutant as equivalence when I wasn't 100% sure that it's actually equivalent because I didn't want to ruin the game. And um, for for the, the whole managing of um, of, of, of your of your course, um, we have an extra uh, admin interface in which you can create, monitor games, and just assign assign students. I wish I will demonstrate this. Uh, quickly and then w with just our two um, users. So you, you can stage a lot of games and then start them all at the same time and then just stop, stop them at the same time, which is quite convenient in the, in the classroom. So I'm just gonna a short live demo again. So we have two, we have two different uh, we, have, we have multiple admin views, but but one of it is um, for monitoring our current game. Yeah, um, the, the, this is the game that I just showed you and actually created the mutants for and, and the tests. Um, and I can not only ob observe it and look at every single mutant and every single test um, that I've that I, that our uh, users have uh, created, but I can also stop them. So at this point, I would just say, okay, enough. We we, we have a new round of games. I will stop our game. So this scales on, 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 the, on the number of games, and then we can create a game um, with exactly these users. And um, you, you, have, you have multiple options. You can um, uh, you, you can assign the, the, the role randomly, or just to the opposite role that you use uh, in class. So once you have an attacker at the next uh, game, you will be a defender. Um, you can use your class and a test for demo purposes. Um, I only have one at, at the moment, but you can upload as many as, as many as you want. And um, and usually we have like uh, 40, 40 people um, here um, which which can play. So they're all um, they're all assigned. So at that point you can you can stage it, which means you can um, still switch roles. And um, at, at this point, I'm, I'm going to uh, switch the role of a, of a defender because defenders only defend, and def attackers will only attack. So, but but this this scales really nice. So, uh, um, with 40 students, we have around uh, five or six games simultaneously, and then then we can create them, create the game. And um, when I go now to when I now go to the uh, to the attacker view, um, so this this was my. Uh, demo attacker and I go to, to the home homepage and know that um, I see that I'm now assigned in, in this game. And as a, as a now, a, again, as a de defender, I can monitor my game, I can observe it, which means that I can look at every single mutant and every single test which has occurred. Um, we have a new view of the number of, of tests we have. So for, for, for every single, uh, for constructors and, and for, for methods, we have an, uh, you have an overview on how many uh, 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 tests there, there are created. We, we're trying to, to do this for, for, the, for the mutants too. Okay, this, this was it for the, for the admin interface. So in, in, our, in our course, um, we have a lot of students playing, and we all have, have a lot of mutants and a lot of tests. Um, so we get a lot of, a lot of data. And we have, either, uh, we, we have data per game, and we have data per students. And what we do is we, like, we, um, we not only try to grade our students, but we also um, conducted a, a study with, uh, with our data. And I will now present you a, a few, finding, a few findings um, that we have. Um, so one finding would be that students definitely improve over time. The first games are usually terrible. People don't really know what they're doing. It's hard to, uh, for, for them to, to understand um, what's going on exactly. But you can see that students f continuously improve over time. And at the end, they are really, really good, like all of them. And, uh, and our, our second finding was that um, after we graded them, that the activity in the game doesn't really, like, 
correlates a little bit with, with, the, with the action uh, grade, but not too much. So 1.0 one, one, uh, 1 is, is the best score uh, that, that you can get um, in, in, in Germany. And um, th there are some people who write a lot of tests and a, lo and a lot of mutants, in, in this case, tests, but they don't really are, re are effective. Um, so they didn't get um, a, a good score wi with it. Um, so you, when, 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 you pl when you play it, you need to have moderate quantity, but, uh, but at the same time have high quality of test. And um, in, in, our, in our survey, in our, in our survey that, that we did, um, we found out that people um, th think that they learned something new as a defender, but not so much as an attacker. So what we try to do is uh, make people defend more. We actually have a new game mode planned, which is called the melee mode, in which people, which is like deathmatch or free fall for, for, from other uh, games, in, in which people can attack and defend at the same time. But we still have to find out um, how how to balance. Um, all, all, the, all, these, all these things. Um, so uh, there are a lot of things that we can still do. And uh, w w one thing would definitely be um, to foster communication and in, in increase collaboration between players and, and, and other things like um, trying to make the gameplay more, um, more interesting for, for people. We actually have an, another idea where like um, you could bet um, on an equivalence duel with points. So if, if you create a really strong mutant and then you can just uh, bet points on it and say, hey, this is, this, is re this is a really, really good mutant and if, if, I, if I win that duel, I will get more, even more points. And um, we're constantly trying to, to update, to, to in include uh, new features. We actually have, um, it's kind of working uh, single player at the moment, but um, in, in which you, you, have, you have puzzles which you try to solve. So you don't play against other people, you basically play against the, the, the predefined puzzles. Um, but we still have to create a, a huge uh, collection of, of good puzzles. Okay, and then, um, another, yeah, so code defenders is publicly available. This is actually um, a screenshot, since I, d I don't have uh, internet of the, of the code defenders instance that we have on, on code defenders, uh, code minus defenders.org. And it's absolutely uh, op open source. So if, if you want to try it, then do, do it. Um, if, if you have any questions, you can contact our chair. We usually try to give tech, tech support um, as, as good as possible, but um, yeah. Um, okay, so what are your take, takeaway messages? It's so teaching software testing can be boring. Um, we try to gamify it. People actually get better and you can, you can uh, play it with your students. Okay, that's what it is from my side. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> yeah, sure. So I was playing this with my students yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and um, I get the impression that you're actually teaching a theory. You're teaching people how to think like an attacker and uh, to defend, you have to think like the attacker. I'm not sure this is even Okay. But I'm sure that the um, learning a new perspective on, on where can I get into and what is not wrong. So if you answer, please. Right. Oh, sh 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 should I just uh, repeat it? So, so um, the, the, the question was primarily that um, we're teaching basically security because we're teaching on, on how to think as a techie when you attack uh, a class and a little bit less um, on like on, on defending and, and writing unit tests. Um, good, good question. Um, I haven't personally thought about it in, in this direction. I remember that um, when I played, uh, um, you, you huh, at some point I, d I definitely agree, but I don't have a perfect, a answer for this. At, at, at the end, you're, you're still writing uh, unit tests and, and do um, and, and apply some um, some knowledge from, from, from software testing, so like boundary testing, stuff like this. Okay, a follow up question? Yeah.
Okay, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Are there any questions? If you don't have any questions right now, I will be uh, still here after, so just ask me then. Okay, then, thank you very much.